So in this cheeky midweek update, I know it was supposed to be yesterday technically, but we're still midweek. I'm gonna tell you what engine I'm not going to use in here. That's a good one. What's happening with this gearbox and a lot of other good stuff. So let's get started. Another one of those one shot wonders. I know you love them where I speak a lot for a lot of the time without anything else. Anyways, the engine is out of Novichok. Decision had been made. Thank you very much, every single one of you uh, who commented on the last video. And it wasn't just on YouTube. There was a lot of comments on Instagram. There was a lot of comments on Facebook. I posted this video in a few groups, even personal messages seems like this thing has touched some hearts and it, it, it's something that you guys care about and that makes me feel really honored and pleased and excited and happy about it because it's not just another car somebody is building it's quite clear that there's a lot of people who really care and they really want this thing to be the fastest Renault Clio Mark II with a whatever engine so thank you guys, thank you very much. Uh, the decision is really difficult. It's really difficult as you can imagine, but I had to make a decision and I'm gonna be quite cheeky and I'm gonna, it's, 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 it's gonna be a sort of a, a round of eliminations. So we are gonna, you're gonna find out in about two seconds, which engine I am not going to use here. So we're gonna be left with two more, two of those options. Just to remind you, the question was, what engine do I use in this thing? Do we fix the F4R? Do we put a 1.8 20 valve from a Volkswagen Golf or whatever? Or do we go Honda Power? Yeah. And it's, it's quite difficult. It's quite difficult because it's almost like it's split evenly between all of those engines. I almost have a feeling that the 1.8 20 valve has the least amount of sort of votes. Some of you purists, they you just basically say F4R. Actually, somebody said I'm gonna unsubscribe if you put anything else in there, but that's the thing. It's it's I, I, I can't just do it for you for one person who said that they're gonna unsubscribe. I have to I have to see the future, I have to see what I can do with this car and how far I can push whatever engine is going to be inside. So are you ready to know which engine I am not going to use? Bye bye. Yes, bye bye F4R. This thing is not going to have a Renault engine anymore. There's a number of reasons. I think I've covered them before, pros and cons and uh, whatnot. Um, you've probably seen the damage. The the rod is sticking out from the block. So the block is obviously damaged. There is a damage on the other side. It cracked in the same position. So all of those bottom internals would have been needed to be replaced. Also, I'm not quite sure whether this was a fault or not, but the, the Westgate, this thing sort of came off. And I don't know, uh, maybe because of the boost leak, but it would have been just a boost leak. So I don't think, I mean, we had checked the logs and everything and there was no spikes or anything like that. I think it was just time for it to go. So it would just be too expensive. And this thing was at the peak of its power, at the peak of its performance, 430 plus horses, you know, and it's just, it's just, I wanted to try something new. So this engine we are not going to be using, <sighs> which means we have those two options. And if you would like to do this again, go down into the comment section and please let me know. There's no more Renault left. So it's K24 or the 1.8 20 valve. Pros and cons for both. We covered them in the previous video. Feel free to let me know what an idiot I am for not sticking with the Renault engine. And this is officially going to be a non-Renault run car because actually there'll be literally almost no parts left on this thing. I did show this before to somebody. Literally those things on the door are the only original parts from this car. 
But also, what I didn't reveal, what I didn't reveal is that over winter, the plan was always, regardless of the engine, regardless of the failure, the plan was always to go lighter. This cage in this car is uh, CDS, full cage, multi-point. I have pickup points on the rear, uh, the dash bar, the rear bar, the cross, all the reinforcements and everything. It's very beefy cage, but I think it's very heavy. We need to lose weight. So what I'm going to do is I kind of partnered with uh, Gosling Racing, Sean from Green, home of Premium Motorsport. Uh, we are going to be making a new cage, new cage, custom design to my specification and for number two, uh, Rusky car uh, for Eddie. So it's going to be super light, minimal design, super strong, all the MSA, whatever, bars, everything is going to be present, so good for, for racing, but it's going to be super light. So in order to do that, somebody told me before when I said, ah, oh, let's just take this cage out and he said you mad do you know how long it's going to take you and how much effort it's going to be to take this cage out so tomorrow i am picking up a new shell so yes it'll be almost well that's it this thing is uh no more so the new shell we're gonna basically do the similar things all the good bits are gonna go into the new shell the new engine whatever that might be obviously the new gearbox Obviously, everything I've learned from this car, I think I can improve. And I had, I've had i been building this for about five years now. And there's a lot of things that I can improve on. And there's a lot of things that I've done which are a little bit questionable in my mind. And I could have done it better. Like the cage, because I chipped out and I went with a CDS cage. And we know how heavy CDS tube can be. Especially if you use 45 millimeters around in the, in the car. So, new shell new engine new gearbox new cage everything new so yeah it's going to be called novi v i can't reveal you yet because then the, the the v part will actually tell you what engine i'm going to be using anyways um anyways i can't i can't for the next video i'll tell you what engine i'm going to be using so this shell will be for sale this is not for sale advert if you are guys serious let me know because obviously i don't need a spare shell as much as i wanted to have another shell i still quite like my my marriage and she will literally kick me out of the house if i decided to keep it so it will be a bare shell probably not a rolling shell but it will come with a kevlar roof it will come with a heated windscreen a little bit cracked but it still will come with a heated windscreen and all of those modifications obviously all the running gear will be removed i'm sorry guys but it will have mark 3 epas prepped so basically a bracket so you can fit a clear 197 uh, steering and it's absolutely amazing so much better than a mark 2 you can fit a wing like that because it will have all the uh, brackets prepped and stuff like that so price fully negotiable i have no idea what this might cost but obviously the cage and all the rails for the seats and everything and it's fairly light because i did cut out a lot of the stuff so if you're interested hit me up in the comments let me know if you want to negotiate or you're interested or you know but that somebody might be interested um i have my old wings from my from this clear but the previous one standard ones so i can include those um obviously you can return it to sort of some semi-standard sort of the semi-standard width just put normal wings and it will bolt on right on um the doors i think i might sell separate but we can negotiate if you want those doors they're fiberglass super light um uh, yeah so effectively you can have this also gearbox unfortunately this has been sold because we're using sequential and we're not using f4r the full kit has been sold to lovely gentleman of uh, Facebook. Been speaking for quite a while. He's just as crazy as I am about right now. Anyway, so that thing is gone. Another two things that I need to sell. Again, it sounds like a for sale advert, but it's not. Well, it kind of is, but you can always obviously stick it onto a Facebook group. But first thing first, my turbo. The reason being is that of course i can reuse the turbo on a new engine but 
This manifold has been custom made for this engine. And obviously with all the flanges and stuff like that, it's just, I think it's time for me to go slightly bigger turbo. So I'm willing to sell my full fastest clear turbo kit. It's not going to be a complete kit. So for that, what you get is my custom manifold that I made, G25 550 turbo. You will have an oil drain. So you all, all you need to do is just uh, tap your block. It will have oil, no, oil feed line I have to keep. Um, it will have a Westgate. Um, there's no play on the turbo, uh, as far as I can tell. Um, again, price is negotiable. Um, and I will include my old intercooler because I have to use my big one. So the smaller intercooler I will include. Um, unfortunately, all the piping, all the boost pipes, you're going to have to make for yourself. And I will probably even throw in my old Funk Motorsport air filter. Really good filter. Really happy how, how it worked. I mean, air filter is an air filter. So another lot, another lot. Oh, it's getting long this video my drum dry sump system again because we're not using f4r dry sump system is gonna be for sale it's not a cheap unit because it comes with everything and i mean it everything before i've seen so many adverts where people sell the dry sump kits and it's just missing parts this one has everything because it's obviously from a working car so you have all the pickups you have the uh, the, the valve, you have the, the lines. I will even give you all of my lines because new engine is not going to have dry sump, which is fine. And a tank from AH Fabrication. That thing is a work of art. One of the very few Millington approved uh, tanks. So you can get a full kit for your Renault engine. Um, yeah, right now, that's about it. That's about it. Um, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like this video. Leave me in a comment what you think out of those two engines that left K24 or 1.8, what I should have. Or maybe you would like to guess what I have picked because I have picked the new engine already. So your suggestions are not really suggestions. They are more of a guesses. Or you can just tell me that if it's not that, we're unsubscribing. Or you can just tell me if I'm, I'm an idiot for not sticking with the F4R. But... It is what it is, and I think the decision that I've made is gonna see us see us high on podiums, shall we say, in uh, 2023 in Time Attack and other events that I'm planning to to attend. So yeah, that's it for this midweek update. Thank you very much for watching. I hope, gosh, I did talk for a long time, didn't I? Non-stop, 30 minutes. Again, thank you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.